In this guide, you'll learn how to use the first three fixes of the design optimizer to get better, cleaner designs and code. It does so by helping you to structure your designs and reduce unnecessary elements. The first fix looks for redundant groups or frames. It detects groups of frames which are unnecessary and do not contribute to the look or structure of the design. This helps to keep your code shorter and cleaner. For each suggestion, you can click the View in Figma button to locate the layer. Notice here that we have many layers of nested groups which are not contributing to the design. Click on the green button to apply the fix and you'll notice that the group has been removed. You can also click on the cross to ignore the fix or multi-select for bulk actions. The next fix converts groups into frames. This is useful as frames have important properties for responsiveness and it sets us up to apply auto layout in the future steps. Similarly, you can click view in Figma to locate the layer. Next, simply click on the green button to apply the fix. You'll find now that the group has been converted into a frame. Go ahead to multi-select for bug actions or simply click on the fix all to accept all suggestions. All of the groups have now been converted into frames. The next fix helps you to convert and remove images and rectangles that have been used as backgrounds into background image fill for the frame. This helps to provide cleaner code with fewer layers. In this example, you can see that this frame contains an image and by clicking on Fix, you'll see that the image layer is now removed. And the properties such as the image fill and border radius have been transferred to the parent frame. Once you've resolved all the items in these three steps, you will be taken to the fourth step, which helps you to better structure your frames to prepare for auto layouts.